We continue to look ahead to the 2022 college football season on Midwest Sportsnet. In today's video, we preview five of the top running backs who are returning to their teams this fall. Allie Scott led the ground game for Grandview last season and helped the Vikings win 14 straight before falling to Morningside in the NAIA championship game, a game in which Scott had two rushing touchdowns. His 17 rushing TDs were tied for fifth in the nation in that category. Scott also topped the 1,000-yard mark in 2021. The Vikings have a number of pieces in place and could make another deep run in the playoffs in 2022. Three teams tied for the KCAC regular season championship. They were the only teams to beat Avila in 2021. The Eagles continue to make a push in the league, and Malik Nesbitt will be back to try to keep climbing. Nesbitt, an honorable mention All-American, helped the Eagles to an 8-3 record. He crossed the 1,000-yard plateau and also had 17 rushing TDs in 2021. It was the second consecutive season for Nesbitt to receive an All-American nod, as well as back-to-back -back years as a 1,000-yard rusher. Kaiser looks to make a return trip to the playoffs in 2022, and Marquise Burgess is back in the Seahawks' backfield. A first-team All-American in 2021, Burgess led all rushers in the country in total rushing yards with 1757 and did it in only 12 games. Averaging 146.4 yards per game, which was second best in the nation and tops among running backs, he picked up 6.0 yards per carry and crossed the goal line 19 times. Burgess had nine straight 100-plus yard games, eight of which were 150-plus yard games, and he recorded 230 rushing yards against Florida Memorial. It should come as no surprise that a running back from Bethel would make this list. The Threshers were so close to a playoff appearance in 2021, and their option attack produced by far the best rushing total in the country, racking up more than 4,500 total rushing yards as a team and averaging 409.5 yards per game. Chance Scurry, an honorable mention All-American, will return to North Newton for new head coach A.B. Stokes. Scurry is coming off a season in which he gained 1,204 yards on the ground and was second in the NAIA at 7.5 yards per carry. He had 12 touchdowns last season. There will be a new head coach in Waxahachie as well. Greg Ellis takes the helm for Southwestern Assemblies of God and does so with the knowledge that second-team All-American Keaton Dudick will be on the roster for his first fall camp with the Lions. Dudick had more than 2,000 all-purpose yards last season, and his 1,586 rushing yards were third best in the NAIA. The then redshirt junior's average of 132.2 yards per game and 22 rushing touchdowns were both also number three in the country on their respective lists. Sagu is coming off a win in the Victory Bowl and looks to make a push toward the playoffs. Midwest Sportsnet is excited about the 2022 football season that is just ahead.